Hey cat, puss, 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 puss. Hey kitty. How's that little scab on your head going, huh? That swelling's gone down. Poor kitty got into a fight. Puss, 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 puss. You like bite me, don't you? You like to bite, don't you? Hey. Alright, kitty. You're getting all playful of me, aren't you, huh? Gotta love cats. Okay, viewers, let's get this pulley to line up. So it's about there, we want it. It's quite a fair way back. We're gonna have to somehow make these mounts. It's gonna have to go there, I'm afraid. That belt's probably gonna jump off a bit. Yeah, the pulley's not gonna line up. I have to somehow make up some mounts. So I'll make some tabs that come off. They'll bend around and go on there. I'll bolt through there, they'll bend around and bolt onto here. Yeah, this pulley's probably not gonna fit. Hmm. The belt will come off at that angle. Might have to uh, make that pulley or push that pulley on more. We'll see what happens. Okay, viewers, it's all mounted. It's crude, but it works. Nice and tight. But it doesn't line up too. Uh, not that, not the best way to line the belt up, but it should hold. Made little brackets here. L shaped bits of plate. That adapts the compressor mount to fit the uh, outlet of out. The original bolt holds the compressor together, locks up on the little tensioner, engine is on. Do some tests. Ooh, she sounds um, kind of crunchy inside. I've cleaned as much of the aluminium filings in as I could. So, Ah, stop resisting. Oh, yep, she's seized. Got some suction there, that's almost as good as a bloody proper, um, a proper actual industrial air compressor. That's not bad. Fine, that was a good rubber can, uh, with a good, come up with a good lubrication system. This will make a good uh, workshop air compressor. I think she's uh, wants to die. No, why don't the engine start? Too much resistance. Yeah, that's a great way to kill your compressor. Yeah, she's got hot. Hmm, death by friction, that compressor. Oh yeah, it's getting hot. Huh. Last a bit longer than I thought. All right, let's put that aside for now. That's gonna have nice, uh, Aluminium soup inside that. 
Let's uh, try my fish on proper generator. Let's see if I can get a Jacobs letter off that. I'm not, I haven't got a, a way to measure the voltage though, so I'm guessing, because of the frequency, maybe it's um, actually less than uh, 7 to 10 kV, so let's set that uh, generator back up. That's actually fun to play with. Okay, viewers, this is actually, uh, I think I broke the compressor in. I think it's uh, bedded in. It turns much easier. That uh, wobble plate must have wore out a little bit. It's better play in there now, it actually turns. Yeah, I can stick and trans, uh, tr transmission or ATF, automatic transmission fluid, that'd be alright for in there. Keep flushing that thought every now and then. See how long it lasts as an air compressor. I can, um, if it proves itself to be relatively uh, tough, this is an American made compressor by the way. Those whole uh, ports there, I can tap some feds into that and put an inlet and an outlet. I can use it as a vacuum pump and a compressor, so. That had come quite handy while it lasts. Okay, viewers, let's get this thing going. Jacob's over there. Adjust that a little bit so you can see. I get the edge and the start, and we can start asking. Hopefully, it holds together on me. Sun. If you do pick any of these uh, wash machine motors up, make sure that they have not been in the sun because that plastic does get weakened. And if you're doing experiments like this, it can fly apart. There is uh, a big, uh, like a motor stator, braiding, laminations all the way around that ring, and it holds a permanent magnet assembly together. So if that fails, that plastic can uh, fly apart. Now I should have been wearing sunglasses, I've got a bit of an arc eye. Naughty naughty, I should have worn sunglasses. Never stare at that arc for too long either. It's not quite as bad as a uh, welding arc either, but it's close. Very, uh, yeah, not a good idea. We are um, welding up goggles, but there's a lot of current there. I think the frequency also had something to do with it. Jacob's ladder is no more. Yeah, he got fried. All right, I'm gonna. Grab my sunglasses, I could do some other arcing with this. Okay, I'll get this engine started, I can do some more arcing. I got my sunglasses on. I right, about whilst to play with this, I was uh, forget how bright the bloody arcs are. And now I'll just uh, kick them in the bloody sunglasses, better kick them in this off and play with this thing.
think that's a lot more than uh, what I expected volts coming out of this. Because the, um, although this insulation could withstand the 12,000 volt NST output, it broke down with the voltage output of this generator. So it must be at least more, a little more than 12 kV. About 30 insulation. Alright. Let's keep it out of the way. Let's try again. Sunglasses are definitely helping. glowing red hot on the arc contact point there. The point of the arc was glowing red hot, so there's a fair bit of current in that bloody thing. So be careful of those things, they can kill you. That's, I think that's more current than a mic. The frequency does have a, um, a role to play as well, so. Yeah, the frequency does have something to do with it. That also aids to the destruction of the arc. But bloody hell, this thing's fun. This is more fun than the mic. Doesn't burn out either. Just fill the windings. Ah, not even warm. They're a little bit warm at points, but nothing to worry about. The uh, load is okay. The windings get reasonably warm in some parts, but Depends on your arc for. There you go, this thing's quite fun to play with. Alright, viewers, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.